We're fine-tuned machines, and uh, we have to get the guys to make sure that uh, they're 100%. Stay tuned for more USA Volleyball on Ion Sports. Matt Anderson just made a great serve, and here comes the play. And the Americans keeping the ball in the rally against Argentina. Quick hit put down by the USA. And point number one going to USA. Anderson will continue to serve the powerful jump serve from the south end zone at J. Sarah. This matchup is only played to 15 points. With point per play score, otherwise known as rally score, you can get a point on any possession. Now, the serve has become an offensive weapon, as you can see. The Americans out to a 2-0 lead. Anderson continuing to serve for the Eagles. Argentina down 0-3 here in game five, calls a timeout. What's Javier going to talk to his team about? They've got to get it together. Otherwise, it's a night for the Americans. Let's check in with Bev Odom. Bev, one of the legends of USA women's volleyball. You've seen, you've been, the whole world, international competition. What's it like right now with the USA men's team heading into London? They're playing Argentina. What, what's going through their minds right now? This is a really hard time for them, I think. It's a very stressful time. They have to qualify, and they have to qualify in Long Beach if they really want to get it done right. They have a, a great opportunity playing in their own country. It's the first time ever, so that's a really big deal. But um, right now they're like number six in the world, so um, for them it's gonna be, it's not gonna be easy. They, I mean, they have some good teams to beat. Cuba is good. And um, I think it's gonna be USA Cuba in that final and hopefully we're gonna get it. Tell us about your preparation <laughs> and you know, what it's taken to be an international competitor. You know, it's a lot of work. I think people just see us every four years, but these guys, they are working hard in the gym every day, working, 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 trying to get their act together and trying to get their, themselves cohesive so they can play together at the Olympics. This is like the pressure that's mounting as the days tick away to London. It's, it's crazy. And all your friends, everybody wants tickets. Everyone's wondering where you are. It's like you have more attention than you've ever had on you. So it's very, very difficult. And, and you're exhausted. You know, you're just exhausted. It's mentally exhausting. So, you know, I, I miss it a little, but I don't miss that part. <laughs> Let's talk about Bev Odin. You know, of course, uh, amazing accomplishments on the hard court. What about on the beach? On the beach, oh my goodness gracious. I only played one year on the beach. I played on the four-person tour uh, against Gabrielle Reese, and um, she was probably the most famous. My sister was also on that, uh, that tour. Um, and I got Rookie of the Year, so I was pretty happy about that. It was my first year out there. It was very difficult, though. It's very different. The wind, I, you know, just getting used to having the wind and the sun and, and the elements, it's very difficult, plus learning how to jump in the sand. The timing is totally different. Um, you're wearing a lot less clothing, so you have to get used to all of that. But uh, it, it's a lot of fun. Um, I, I liked indoor better, but I love to watch the beach because the beach is just super exciting and we've got great athletes out there. Let's, let's look at the beach for London 2012. Yeah. What does it look like for USA? Well, we got Carrie and Misty coming back for the women. They're trying to get their third gold medal. Um, they've got a good chance, but they're a different team than they were the last two times. You know, Misty is coming off that Achilles injury. Carrie just had two babies. They weren't playing together for two years, so they're coming back together. They're both older, so it's going to be a little tougher. The competition's better, too. So the Brazilians are coming in there, and they are strong. So they're going to have a tougher go than they've ever had, but I think they have a really good chance to bring home that third gold medal. It's going to be amazing. We don't know who the second team's going to be. It could be um, Jen and April. It could be Lauren Fendrick. We don't know yet. We're kind of waiting to see how that unfolds. On the men's side, same thing. Todd and Phil, they're going back to defend their gold medal. 
Can you believe this? We got three golds and a silver at the last Olympics. It's like the best USA Volleyball's ever done. I don't know that we can do that again, but we got some great teams. Todd and Phil have a good chance. Matt Burbringer and Nick Lucena just got to the finals last weekend. So those guys are coming along. So it could be really interesting. We could see some Americans on the podium for sure. So Bev, who or what is your inspiration all these years? Who is my inspiration? Well, I was fortunate enough to have two older sisters that came before me. Both of them played on Olympic teams. Kim, uh, my oldest sister, played in 88 and 92. My sister Elena played in 92 and 96. So for those three Olympics, there was an Odin on the team the whole time. So I was lucky that I got to watch them as I was growing up. I always got to watch a couple levels above me, and I think that helped me to, um, to get better at the sport. But my idol was always Flo Hyman, you know, and she passed away tragically in Japan, um, very young, on the court. Um, but she was she was my idol. That's why I wore number seven. And uh, you know, I always think about her when I wear my number. We're back to action here on the court. Three looking at zero. Anderson serving once again. That powerful bullet serve. Argentina just scoring its first point here in the fifth set of this battle of these great American countries featuring the Southern American country of Argentina and the Northern American country of the USA. Argentina back to serve with a jump serve. USA handles the ball well and off the block good for another point. It's four looking at one. USA leads Argentina in this pivotal match leading up to North Seca. Ball back to serve. He'll jump it up with a soft float jumpy. Here comes the Argentinians out of the middle with a drop shot over the block good for the point. Let's take a look at it again. Now look at that little soft shot to the corner. It'll be two serving to four, set number five of this best of five battle. The tuna for Norsega for the American US team. Jump serving becoming so much more prominent in volleyball internationally. And look at that beautiful block after the bit coming off the three meter line by the USA. It's now three looking at four. Argentina back to serve. Coming right out of the middle with the serve. Argentina in light blue, the US in its red, white, and blue. Set coming off to the right side and hammered down. Good for the point. Five for the USA, three for Argentina. Five, serve three. McKinsey back to serve for the United States. Alan Knight giving his team some directions for the, before the jump serve and an ace jump serve. Check this out. The ball just long. How close that was. Four looking at five. Argentina to serve. Comes up into the middle. Set being pushed to the right side and it penetrates the block. The block got the better part of that ball and rejected it. As you can see, the outside right blocker came in and captured the block. That'll give Argentina another point. Now 5-5. Five, five. Remember, the Americans jumped out to a 3-0 lead. The libero makes the set cross court. Argentina in control. The ball to the right side. Soft block. And the ball still in the Americans' possession on the quick play. Ball is down after it tags them. Six, USA, five, Argentina. Argentina looking really good here today. And they've looked good all week. The Argentinians came in, trained at the USA Training Center in Anaheim in preparation for these big matches. These two countries get along very well. Alan Knight finalizing some strategy here with a six 
five score for the USA. The high jump serve deep into the court. The Americans back in possession of the ball. And Argentina locks it. Broga gets that block for Argentina and 6-6 six, six is our score. With sixes on the board here at the J. Serra Pavilion, Argentina back to serve. He'll jump it high, and the ball into the net. Point USA. Seven, four, the American team. The Eagles looking at six. Here comes the serve off the right side. Little float jumpy is down in the net. Argentina keeps it in play. The pipe does not clear the net. That is a point for Argentina. Seven. Looking in seven. Let's take a look at that again. Boy, that just tagged the net. The top tape. It would have been a home run for the USA. Seven seven the score. Iran Ion. Pass perfectly to the middle. The attack off the right side. The ball is down. The point goes up for the USA. Eight. Looking at seven. Great crowd here, Jay Sarah Pavilion. Very volleyball knowledgeable. 